Hello all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Bernie coming at you fast with another Destiny Taken King exotic loot guide video and today we are going to be talking about the Black Spindle or the Black Hammer 2.0 exotic version. Now in order to get this weapon, it's kind of off to the side, it's pretty much a challenge run when you're doing the uh, the mission lost to light you have to do it on the 240 light difficulty setting pretty much the heroic setting we did it during the daily mission um, when it was the daily mission so it had that little uh, thing where all the enemies have shields on them and stuff like that so it was definitely harder and you do have to do it on the 240 light I'm pretty sure because I've never seen this one on the regular difficulty one and the enemies you fight are very difficult so what you're gonna do is you're gonna run all the way through you're gonna do what you normally do in the mission you're gonna open the doors and stuff like that but you gotta do it quick you gotta do it somewhat quick so you're going to get through the first two doors that require one and then two of those tomb husks. And once you get to the room where you need three tomb husks, you can just ignore it. You don't need it anymore. Um, and you can just go ahead and actually get into the area where you need to go off to the side. And you're actually going to get beamed up beamed up in this light beam like you are used to when you're going to hunt Varix like you see right there you're gonna go through the door to the right where you usually go instead of the the three the three lock door you're just gonna go to the right of that and that door should be open and you're gonna go to Varix's ship so you need to go through all these rooms and you need to clear out every single ad you need to kill every single flipping ad in all these rooms in your time you have 10 minutes to kill every single ad get to the boss room kill the boss and kill all of the ads in that boss room now I was excited that I was using my sword the sword the exotic sword oh my god it flip and melts through this shit man it killed every single yellow bar in pretty much one hit and uh you know all the ones that were shielded also killed him pretty much in one hit it was so so amazing not pretty much it did kill him in one hit so definitely use that if you have it but pretty much the black spindle is exactly the same as the black hammer it has three bullets in the clip it has 15 bullets in the reserves it even looks like the goddamn thing it's just a bit more black uh giggity i guess and uh it does have white nail and it does have mulligan white nail is still patched however so you know it's patched across what Whatever gun you use it on so it doesn't have infinite ammo like the old black hammer before the patch did but it's still an exotic and you still get it at 310 light and it's still awesome you're gonna see gameplay after this but this is the last room so what I can recommend for this is try to kill a couple of these ads up front focus on the scions and then just try and kill the boss focus on the boss because the ads are gonna keep on spawning as long as the boss is alive so use snipers use tethers use scout rifles use long-range weapons and just peek them out of that first room door way area just peek them I have a sword so what I did was I try to go invisible when I could uh, I would try and tag team it with my teammates tether and I will go in and just uppercut him with the sword it dealt a massive amount of damage like you're gonna see right here I actually end up killing him with the sword right there and we're not done we do have to kill all of the ads as well and it's still timed now the first time we tried doing this we almost beat it but we just simply ran out of time this one we beat it with I think half a minute to spare so you are gonna need every single second you I do recommend trying to get to the end boss room with about six minutes left that's going to be the most ideal time six six thirty minutes uh, because it is going to take a while and so here we go So there you guys see it, the black spindle dropping. I'm going to observe this for you guys, inspect it, just so you get the gist of it. If you don't know what the black hammer was, well, it's pretty much the same exact thing right here you guys are seeing. The same exact stats, impact range, all that kind of stuff. And of course, you still have white nail, and you still have mulligan, and you have a couple of extra shit there. I like the one that increases my stability the most out of the, the three bubbles. but. Yeah, that's how you get it. The mission will automatically end as if it was a nightfall type thing. And somebody, we did get a few rewards. I don't know why, but there were some rewards, I think, right here. I think. Is there rewards? No, there weren't. Okay, I'm just tripping balls. But let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay and see how this thing performs in case you've never seen the Black Hammer. So here we're going up against one of the final statues in the Black Garden because you know what? I was farming for exotics. I'm gonna I'm gonna be ex I'm gonna be honest, you know? I was farming for exotics, so why not kill two birds with one stone? 
try this out on the boss that I'm gonna be killing over and over and over again for these exotics. And as long as you have patience, and as long as you have good, uh, you know, recoil control, you can just keep shooting the bosses in the same spot, and you will never have to reload this gun until, of course, you run out of ammo in the reserves. So that's about it. Use this on big bosses, that's my recommendation. Bosses with big precision, uh, hit spots like the Devil Walkers and such. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good, good stuff. And as always, make sure you all have a wonderful day.